we have a use for a few of them that I know, mainly the tongue diva tears and the chocolate. I'm gone. We're actually going to use the apothecary. We'll is it apothecary? Right. We're going to use the tongue because it gives the ability to speak. So it's not exactly hard to guess who you're gonna use gone. it on. Although I really need money at this point. 233 coppers. That's. I think I was almost richer when I started this game. Pistol kiln. Yeah. I'm stuck. Blah, blah, blah. Greetings. Pistol, I'm called. Alchemist. He points at himself again, this time with his left index finger. The name's Gil. Need you some? Okay, are you alright? Uh, I am. His throat convulses for a moment, then relaxes. A large screen is glowing, puzzle suddenly bursts from his side of the neck. Something you need, then, sir. His throat clenches again, and a wave of quivering flesh swallow swallows the blistering green puzzle back beneath the skin of his robe. He coughs violently for a moment, seems to relax. What happened to you? He, the left eye rolls upward in exasperation, his right eye looks absent. Too much to drink. Too much of what? Potions I drank, too much potions. His mouth slides down beneath his chin. His left nostril forms another one. The most I ever drank, that's for certain, of polymorphing they were and brewed. Limbo. Anything I do can help. I uh, don't know. Uh, this sort of thing happens quite often. We can't seem to help but sample the stock. If you find a way to help, the two of us, two of us would be great. What? Yeah, the man's eyes turn inwards, look at each other, then turn back to you. The mouth below. His chin moves up to envelop the one of these nostrils form. This sort of thing happens quite weak. Is this a two person in one? Yeah, I've got elixir of horrific separation. Do you think that would help you? Both, both his eyes suddenly snap to the small bottle in his hand. He nods. You are, I expect a reward, you know. You know, it's good some healing items for here. Yeah. As long as I get something, this did cost me money. And we did get quite a bit of experience again. Pestle Kiln takes the bottle in his in both his hands and places it beneath the counter. His left eye focuses on you, while his right eye and hand concentrate on scribbling furiously on the countertop. We can use this to make something that'll fix us. Right on up. Now, if you'll give us a moment when we got it all worked out, we'll make you some healing st stuff for our reward. Right, very well now. Yeah, now there are two guys here. Eating concoctions. A pistol. Yes, of course, dear reward. I right, let's see now. I'll manufacture them for ye for nothing, of course. But I need the proper ingredients. Mm, and on his heart, a powdered hematite, a hair of a divan thread. Yeah, actually, I wonder. My wounds heal very quickly. Pestle raises an eyebrow. Do they now? Well, then, your own blood just might do. Here, give me a sample if you would. Hey. Okay. Placed upon one tongue, these cloth charms will. He yeah, cloth charms. Oh, God. Crap. Do they actually sell here? Blood charms are much better. Yeah, nothing of real interest. Ten cloth charms. Yeah, I'm not really that impressed to be honest. But they're worth a few hundred. 
Okay, we have use for these. Do not sure what this is about. Might be a yeah, it's a monster. All right. We won't All fight right. fight it here. Use. This is a heavy plane looking metallic chuck with a hinge topper. Despite its common appearance, you feel reluctant to touch the thing as if it might bite you. You've been told there's some sort of monster trapped inside of it, but peering the jug, yeah, open the jug, see if anything comes out. First, there's nothing, but then black viscous liquid begins to bubble out of the jug's mouth, forming a slimy pool of steaming cherry fields on the ground. As the jug begins to dissolve in your hands, the pool begins to breathe, drop, and rise from a tall, hideous creature. What the? What is it? A uh, Gehreleth. Well, we'll kill a Gehreleth, I guess. I fear I've been oh, wounded. Shit. She's taking ton of damage. Yeah, she's dead. Damn. All from grace. Yeah, I'm gonna load. Where's the auto save? Done. All right. A pleasure. It shall be done. Yeah. What the? What's up? Let's take this a bit more Ooh, seriously. Fifty swigs of brandy would make you look rock and screw. Fourteen thousand. So very dangerous enemy, actually. Very dangerous. Yeah, I've definitely dropped items at somewhere. I only have one bone charm, or is it some? Yeah, no. I think I've died somewhere and forgot to pick up the items. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, anything else? Codex of the Inconceivable. What you had first taken to be a rather unassuming book held close by a tiny brass lock is in actually bound in strange leathers and enchanted bronze. It is labeled simply the Codex of the Inconceivable. Open and read. You unlock the book's bindings and open it. As you glance over the tome's contents, your jaw drops. You stand spellbound, flipping through its pages. Its contents are simply too much to be described. Mere words seem powerless to explain the wonders it holds. Uh, show him the codex. Once he floats over your shoulder to examine the codex concepts, his eyes nearly drop, pop from the sockets as they scan the page. Woo woo, up and wow. You stand thoughtfully for a moment, looking down at the codex before closing it and resentfully putting the dome away. So, a little bit of experience. But nothing else. Instant was it? He was tears. Yeah. The Lady of Pain Ragdoll and the Gorgon Salve are things that we I know that we won't actually have to use. It might I'm be gone. of some interest. I'll try the Gorgon Salve first. Definitely a gigantic waste of money. But you can always get more I'm money. Gone. So I'm not sure how. I'm gone. Speak of a negative it is. If you're not gonna use it. If you need to go somewhere, Skull, don't let us keep you. I have a name, you know. I have several names for you. None of them fit for polite company. Can I use the cell? <gasps> Apply the Gorgon cell. You smear the foul smelling ointment over the statue. There's a strange shimmering around the statue, and you watch as the statue takes an intake of breath and the eyes of Fill with a blazing vengeful madness. Cover your ears. Yeah, before you can do a thing, a blazing torrent of words lies from the sorcerer's lips. As he speaks, you feel an agonizing sensation, like a sudden wave of raging heat. As he speaks, you feel an uh, blah, 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 pour over you 
and settle into your skin like a blistering wound. This blindness strikes you as your eyes burst, running from their sockets like shattered eggs. You hear someone screaming, you realize it is you. Wait for the horror to end. The last thing you hear, even over your own cries, is Mort shouting. Taunts, all right. By the lady's bloated teats, what a... Everything suddenly falls silent as the last of your senses flicker and fade away to nothing. Yeah, die horribly, victim of the rather that awful curse. Ugh. I'm dead. Another trip to the mortuary. <sighs> Thought I'd lost you that time. Yeah, on the bright side, Morte gained something. Basically, upgraded his, I guess, his detective curse ability. All right. I only want basically uh, the better armor for Paul for Jade. It won't upgrade his her armor class any. But we will get a lot of healing spells. That's the only big uh use for money I can see as of right now. <laughs>